into the towers, but realistically, I think you need to hyper aggressive play that lane to try and win out and put the enemy behind. So I prefer going towards something like the Renata here. You can I still mean, take the Demolish Rune and be fine. We look at Fnatic's call. Instantly clears a wave. Makes it so difficult to pressure to get those plates, but if they find a bit of an angle here, they can poke him down. If they can interrupt the Decimating Smash, it looks like they're going to go for the four-man dive. Just try to take Broken Blade out of the question, equation. Not going to interrupt the Q. It's not going to matter. Dive will be clean. Broken Blade down. Give it up for his bot lane. The priority being that he wants Noah and Jun to be kept up in farm. We talked about how, like, in theory, the sieging power bot side should be quicker. Broken Blade trying to get to the tower. Hunter tower. Handshake back is good. Nice follow-up. Pushing him away. Decimating Smash, though. Going to hit two members. Broken Blade going to have the passive as well. And already Oscar's down. That's the passive. They need to, this they need the to passive. kill Broken Blade as quickly as they can to stop him from taking Oscar out. The healing isn't enough. Oscar is going to survive, but it's on a Razor's Edge. Couldn't quite manage it. Broken Blade committed the flash as well. Ultimately, though, it's Fnatic with two kills on the board. The crucial thing to keep track of here... Oh, hang on. Are they going to dive him again? Broken Blade, TP gone. He's out of all the resources he has. One more Zac passive, and maybe he can take Oscar, but the heal for extra movement speed. Oh, Noah. On the top side, it's a level two Zac, but Elastic Slingshot. Without Mickey in the area, they just have no way to stop it. Going to look for the dive. BB should be able to collect the wave. He will fall again. Broken Blade. Can't shake back, will drop, will try to clear the wave as best as he can, but he's just getting bullied over and over by Fnatic. That said, he continues to pick up CS. He's also preventing access that's insignificant, to be perfectly honest. Now, it's crucial for viewers that are new to lane swaps that we clarify. Broken Blade is not negative gaming, okay? <laughs> no, his purpose and pursuit is to get as much farm and experience as he can. Yes. And while he is sacrificing some kills, TP. TP now coming. Some mating smash. Does hit Jun before the second half of the handshake comes out. Ansama can now step up, but has to be careful. Noah's still quite strong. Has the flash, as does Jun, but wants to kick this fight off. Knows the handshake isn't quite there. Jun now going to be in trouble. Time bomb just ticking. Reset there. Not quite waiting it out so beautifully, but the reset is in for Jun. He manages to live. Perfect from the side of Fnatic. Yikes, snipes one. Tremor sends now, chasing down Jun. Sweeper as well, but Razzirk is here to cover. Hans getting taken out is perfect for the Fnatic. Incredible patience from Jun. It comes Caps though with the collapse. Baby Cage. Caps a little bit slow on the trigger. Needs to back up. Flash forward from Yike. Wants to commit for the kill. That's the ulti. Point incredibly far behind. You saw the amount of dives Fnatic were pulling off against Broken Blades. Those type of plays are also possible. Oh, there's, a, there's a warden behind G2 as well in the middle of the Ten lane. It's about to tick. Zach could just TP down. Broken Boy trying to back away, flash backwards, gets a bit of a slowdown there. Arrow now coming in immediately, Broken Blade is forced to ult, but it just means that Hansama and Mickey X are now vulnerable. Hansama leaping out, flash forward from John with the ulti. Mickey X going berserk in the back line of Fnatic, but it's a Lulu, it does absolutely nothing. Humanoid completely pushed that wave in before he can get mid, although they are actually going to keep him in this bottom side at the moment as Yike takes the uh, void drops. I mean, Noah wanted a reset anyway, right? Yeah. He was out of mana, needed to go back to base, so if anything, they just changed the lane assignments. Jun is staying around his. At the moment, it does an open open opportunity for Hansama to just take Clearing mid. the wave, lays down the cage, stun onto Razork. That tower's going to be a bit of a problem. Ulti now coming in. Cap's going to start to auto Mickey, but it's just two Yordles. Doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Yike now waiting. They get the, the TP out from Broken Blade at the very least. Kind of chaos here on the bottom side of the rift. Keep attention as to what the lane assignments are. They sent the Tristana and both AD carries are mid. Here Humanoid comes goes for the pushback on a broken blade. Maybe not the ideal target there because the knock up onto Oscar gets a bit more space. Clean handshake from Jun once again. Cavs with a primordial burst to finish off Humanoid. Oscar managing to grab a bunch of healing. The bailout is there as well, but a solo in the mid lane. Noah must have overstepped into the Tristana and now Oscar has been left for dead in a blink of an eye. G2 firing. On top of the fact that Han Summer finds himself a solo kill, a solo tower. I've been to there as well. Han Summer getting so much additional gold on top of the kill. Caps though now in trouble. Doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of mana, but again, the cage just creating Mickey? so much Mickey? space. Mickey though getting handshake back at Razork. That should be one dead Lulu. Now Han Summer might be in trouble. Well, in a blink of an eye, they got it. In a blink of an eye, they might just give that advantage away. Think, Yordle's running on the bottom side. I think the problem is Mickey needs to open his eyes. He ends up walking directly into the bot lane where everyone in Fnatic is there and just gets completely caught out. I think there was always going to be a bit of a risk as Fnatic were trying to unmask it down towards the Dragon to take that away. So weird movements from G2 and they get punished for it. I mean, just... Ultimately, Caps overstayed, but he thinks it's fine because he has TP. Mickey then tries to support. Which isn't bad in this situation. It's just he's not going to be the one that kills Broken Blade, who's... Join. Yeah. Flash handshake on the Caps. This He's just solo making plays <laughs> everywhere. Judd's an absolute hero. Or flashing to make plays in the mid game. No, he's been yeah. super impressive. 
And uh, he's given Fnatic a lifeline. In the bot side. They're gonna knock this tower down very likely before the charge even comes in. Maybe just use it on the second tower. G2, big push on the bottom side. It's gonna force Fnatic to respond. Oscar topside does have TP if he wants to join the play. It sounds weird, but if, okay, Fnatic are actually gonna go and look to play TP into the boss. They're looking Demonic for them. clearing mid. There's not really great flank wards. It would be a very long flank as Caps now pilots the Herald forward again. The hostile takeover from Jun. Nice oh. place, but only going to connect on the Caps. Noah now going to be in trouble. Here comes the Rek'Sai. The bailout doesn't look like it's going to be enough. And now both Blades is trying to get out. Excuse me, Yike trying to get out. Bit of a comedic comedy of errors there. As Broken Blade's also going to whiff. Humanoid's going to flash. And now Oscar goes in for the re-engage. They burned everything. And now Fnatic are going to try to take over the fight. But Hansama is still standing. And that is going to be a problem for the side of Fnatic. Hansama not quite finding the angles to attack yet, though. Oscar running. Razork running. Caps still alive. They've taken down so many of the supporting members, but they haven't taken it. Lane. Wasn't the center of the story in this series, or wasn't expected, but showing up in this game one is Razork and Oscar looking to kick things off. Nice input buffer from Hansama takes him out to safety, but it's Caps who's now in trouble. Doesn't even get the cage down. Humanoid, no whimsy this time. Mickey, lamb to the slaughter as Fnatic set up for their third Drake. That's big picks for Fnatic. Managing to get the third Drake from the cells. Yes, it's an ocean dragon, but the objective control on this bottom side for Asher's. Not something we see as much on his ear these days, but it does mean for a faster Baron overall. Yike into the pit. Hostile take over there. Knockup is there. Razork not going to let him have it. Now Hansama needs to get the hell out. Knockup from Razork is clean, though. He stops the jump. It's missed time by Hansama. G2 just have tools other than the cage. He has to play this flawlessly, but Broken Blade kicking things off. Going to get the two-man knockup. Not quite able to find the knockback. Oscar now looking for a bit of backup, but Humanoid is already dead. Caps uncontested on the back line. The Dark Matters are going to start to fly left and right. Mickey coming in. Hansama ready to go over the wall, but Fnatic had more members in the area. Again, a two-man knockup. Somebody stop this. Sai on Hansama leaping in. Knockback onto two. Noah wants to fire back, but he's just a little down. Morris. He doesn't have the sustained DPS. Jun and Noah on the retreat. Oscar running as well. Jun might just have to give his life. The hostile takeover is big, though. Hansama needs to get away. He's tearing through Mickey's health bar, but it's Noah now. Hansama versus three. Tristana needs one reset. This guy has been absolutely fantastic this game. He has been 5-0 on this Renata pick over the course of this game. He's making his way back out, and it should be able to secure this before he can return. Dragon Soul on the card. The Fnatic have a ton of vision, and G2, they need to try and break Fnatic. Knock up on the Jun. A decent start. Broken Blade locked up. Boris Ultimate hitting multiple people. And again, the hostile takeover is there. Razor gun contested. The baby cage not in range. Cat flashing out to safety. But a clean far side alteration. Anticipating the flashback and another catch from Humanoid. G2 are being slaughtered in the mid lane at the hands of Fnatic. At the hands of Noah and Humanoid. Fnatic said we're happy to play your games, G2. We're happy to, to go against whatever you bring to the table. Because in game one, well, that was a little bit unfortunate. As they don't have a wave. I thought they were going to end the game. I thought that was going to be an epic monologue. But we look back at this fight, and it's just a one-sided affair. Broken Blade gets absolutely shattered at the hands of Fnatic. They melt through the front line. Yike is quick to follow behind, and then Caps left isolated with no front line to play behind. Look at Humanoid on the backside as well. Finds a nice slide and glide. Jun converts it into a beautiful handshake. And it's a handshake one right deal. Now, 10k lead, Ocean Soul. A masterclass performance in the support position, backed by the entire... And now in 2024, it feels like history, at least in game one, is repeating itself as Fnatic have come out swinging in this game. And it's only a single game, but it's important to remember that the finals have been the cap show, regardless of which org has backed him. And so for Fnatic to get one step closer to winning a title again in a post-caps era, to prove that they are more than just the early days of League of Legends and the era of Caps is a fantastic look for this organization. But it's a bit premature in this series. It's only a single game. G2 still have room to fight back in this one, but Oscar wants to end it here. Leaps in, is going to get two on the stun. Broken Blade does his best to interrupt. Caps still standing for a moment, but again, the ulties coming in from Jun. The follow-up damage is there, and they're out of here. G2 got nothing left in game one. They tried the lane swap, but Fnatic were ready for it. They played it better. Jun everywhere on the map. The fight's cleaner. The tool's stronger. Fnatic, a show of dominance in game one. This will not be a quick 3-0. It will not be an easy first seed for G2. Fnatic are here to play. G2 have been rocked. And it is not with a fist. Not the best laning phase. Nuke is laughing next to me. <laughs> <I think, laughs> like, the champ got the, like, he got the macro nerf. Uh, considering his skill, basically before you could stand on the minion. Level two, 
looking to get level three as quickly as possible, and I don't think the Fnatic is in a position to punish him like they were in the previous game. Caps is the one who's suffering though. Razor just jumps in. There were already positive trades in the one v one. I stand corrected. Worse. Broken blade ignited, ticking. Will delete the wave. Noah gonna walk away. I don't think you can really trade for the Dragon on the opposite side, which is a bit of a win for Fnatic as well, because you just want to be looking for turret plates and accelerating this Jinx as quickly as possible. Jun, and it's quite a broken blade before he gets the tower and get a good junk onto him, which would just set up. Scoop back, but a flash away from Humanoid. Nice play from Caps to get the flash advantage. Just need to play it careful. Broken blade again, just gonna get locked up and deleted. Zombie form. I mean, like the saving grace here. Oh, hook from Mickey. G2 finally. TP now comes through. Oscar knowing that he's one going against the AD carry is Caps, Caps in danger. In, but Razrak is there to back him up. Flash away from Caps, immediate flash fall. Ulti coming in from the Aurelian Soul. He starts to spit fire onto Caps. The Caps has Yike to body block. That's Razork taken down. Jun running, Humanoid running. Already used the flight, the flash oh. from Mickey. Oh, he's not happy about game one. He's looking to bring him back here. Humanoid just out of the edge of that hitbox, but it will be Drake. To the side of G2 again, Broken Blade likely to die in the dive. But Jun tanking tower gives him a bit of extra space here as Noah also tanks a bit more. Again. I'm getting a lot of bounce energy this yeah. series, you yeah. know what I mean? Good death. Good death. Thoughts? Good death. <laughs> <laughs> it's not negative gaming, like you said in game one, but there's definitely... Broken Blade picks that wave. Yike, I think this might be... A bit over eager, but Cass is there to cover, so doesn't need to be too concerned. Do not want to give away that five grub buff to the Keep side of the Fnatic. on mid. Also, Oscar moving his way through the bot side jungle, drops the control ward deep into G2 side, help them a little bit with their sieging. I will say that when we think about hitting towers and sieging in the later game. side of the map will likely knock down this tower, but Fnatic have used this opportunity to set up control for the pit, to get mid priority. G2 are just going to give this. They're like, we can just get gold onto BB, we can get more terror. And there's only a single turret play left in the mid lane. Ooh. Ooh. Tried for the steal, but there's only a single turret play left in the mid lane. So. This mid lane. That's because G2 have their eyes set on it, unlocking this mid tower, but also Herald being alive. Broken so they're blade, they're gonna disable the tower as well. They're just trying to kick the fight off. John looking for the disengage ultimate. Caps on the backside though, pushes back too, with the skies to send. Fnatic desperately holding on, and here comes Humanoid. He gets one reset. He starts to back away. They need to cancel the Breath of Light if they can, but that's the second reset. Moving right into the death. Vulnerable here on the side lane. Three-man blast gun coming over. He is in for a well, not so pleasant surprise. CC from the Counter-Strike. Trying to back off, but there's no way for him to clear. Humanoid now bringing one in as well. There's just nothing Broken Blade can do. Be avoiding dying as much as possible. And Fnatic are just continuing to punish him. They use the Herald to attack, but I was expecting him to throw it mid. But G2 are cross mapping. They know that Fnatic have invested multiple members towards the bot side. They're sieging on mids. They're going to secure this tower, rotate towards top. Simple value the longer this game goes. Jun is walking up. Jun is looking. Jun flashing, instantly gonna grab three. Oscar off to the side, trying to split caps out of the fight. Mickey now in trouble. That's one picked up by Noah. The carry's playing beautifully on the back line together. Humanoid finds the reset. Now stepping in, Hansama ghosting. Yike taken down. Humanoid can just fly again. Raining fire from the skies, but Caps, Hansama broken by trying to play around this tower. Alti going down, locking up two. Immediate follow up though. They've got Hansama in their sights. Razor goes in and finds it. It's a shutdown. And again, G2 are crumbling in the mid lane. It's Noah buying a bit more space. Breath of Light going through the fly. The tower though just continues. Caps desperately trying to escape, dashing over the wall. They want to follow. Noah wants to kill, but he's going to get embarrassed in the 1v1. Not today. Godlike on the Callista. And again, G2 crumble in the fight. Fnatic out, team fight G2 once again. They continue to get the better of them in the 5v5, and we have to look at the support player. Jun with a three-man knockup to start off the whole fight cements a huge victory. Boy, the 2v2, and Noah and Jun, despite that, are still incredibly impactful in the games. Jun standing off to the side. Oh. taken by Yike. Just what they need, but Fnatic now set up for the fight. Keep your eyes on Humanoid off to the side. The pushback is there. The ulti is there. He's burning everybody down. Now he has the reset, trying to get away, but the angle's not quite right. G2 now clearing up, trying to clean up the fight in exchange. Broken Blade and Yike, the last two members standing. But they've it's not got good, but we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> and now Perfect. Fnatic in the mid lane. You still got G2 trying to collapse. Humanoid right. off to the side. Going to get the reset. Nice hook onto Razor, could start the towers there as well. Jun gonna get pushed back by Caps, crucially keeping the backline relatively safe. Human right off to the side, needs to be able to do damage, but Noah taken down, yike, on a rampage. Humanoid with a good ulti to try and disengage the fight, but G2 found a bit of an edge, and they are not looking to give Fnatic away back into this game. Humanoid's ult did stop G2 from being able to follow up, but G2 are happy to not take the lives of Fnatic. They're happy to just take the base instead. Lantern there, 
We'll reposition. Yeah, also look at the side of your screens, the summoner spells that are available on both sides. Jun has his flash, which is going to be massive. No flash for Caps, no flash for BB, no flash for Mickey. There is an opportunity for Fnatic. It'll be so point for Fnatic if they secure this. Yeah, but it's not so yet. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, right, that's Mr. what you mean. And their vision is slowly look just being chipped away. But now the ulti coming in, Hansama flashing out. Mickey gonna die before the fight really even starts. Jack doing his best to try and disengage Oscar and buying a bit more space, and Noah completely and totally untouched. Another one falling. Humanoid just continues to fly, but the reset not quite working out. Hansama now is the one that's starting to take over, and keep your eyes on Caps in the picture and picture. He's already knocking down the base. Fnatic, they're desperate to keep going. They need to kill Hansama. Oscar finds the ulti. The knockback doesn't take Hans over the wall, and Fnatic, they want to end it here. They need more. They can't settle. Caps has already gotten the inhibitor. They need to get something else, but the health bars are so low, I don't even think they can get Baron. I mean, that's the second inhibitor secured. Yike is trying to interrupt the backs. I thought the Caps may even try to end the game, but no, he's going to go for a recall. Nine TP's in. Yike is strong. Extra healing coming in from the Frenzy Ball. Another 900 HP, baby! Vola Bear going crazy in the 2v1. Vola Bear at Sunder Sky. What a combo that Noah needs to break. Can he find Yike here? Noah? Takes the jungler out, maybe it gets a little bit easier. Now Fanage is not quite to find one. The, the shield, extra shield, the shield, the shield, the lantern. Mickey finds the hook on the humanoid, it's all falling apart. It's going crazy, but G2 are the ones who are ahead. Cap's looking to snipe the AC out of the sky, oh he just barely lives. He no! Off. What? The <laughs> auto attacks from the minion are what finish him off. Just like that, four members of Fnatic are dead. That's two, well, one inhibitor down. G2. Can they end from this position? I think not. Baron should be the call, but Razork is alive in five seconds. It's a huge wave of bot side, though. They can't Ryan end this, surely. Hansama here. I think they want to try and end it now. This next wave should be a super minion wave. Look at the bottom right. This is where it's coming Are in. They're going to try to play off this. It's bold, but it's the confidence you want to see from G2. Cap still has ulti. Is it too bold, though? Flash. John, John, John. in. Keep your eyes on Razork. Razork wants to try to turn this back with the pushback from Hans's clutch. He buys the space for the Jinx to take over in the clutch. Noah off to the side, but it's four members of G2 standing tall. They're going to bring it back in game two. A triple for Caps to end it. Humanoid, there's no way. G2, he already took out Hansama. G2 just has to try to take it. It's a quadra for Caps. They want to give him the Penta. They want to give him the same treatment. Now we got a Penta to end game two in the spring finals. Ultimate, the ultimate from the Aurelian Soul. And the Blitzcrank is going to round rank. things out from G2. So G2 is a lot more like pick potential, attacking side lanes, skirmishing, looking for smaller opportunities. Because when we kind of oh, look really bold. The level two from Aurelian Soul is incredibly oppressive. Humanoid knows that he tries to leverage that advantage. But now he's gonna get punished for it. A quick flash out to safety. Caps now has a level two of his own. I don't think that's the damage. Gold card. WQ, one more auto, but a dive on the bottom side. In the meantime, Oscar now gonna be in trouble, but Mickey's taking the tower. Mickey, not quite gonna drop. Hansama wants to finish this desperately. They need to finish off Oscar in it. They should grab the first kill. It's first blood on the bottom side for G2. And we've just roll swapped. Well, I've seen this before. I've seen I've it done. before. The <laughs> main plates were switched, but we have seen that exact play three games in Broken a row. Broken Blade now ganking mid again. Flash forward. Bit extra movement speed, but here comes Razork. Oh, it's just a level one TF with red buff. Humanoid's still living. Can reset on the astral flight if he wants to. Still oh, no! oh, 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 Caps cannot get it. Fnatic laughing straight to the bank. It's not a clean early game, but they're getting everything they want. Caps in, it would seem. The uh, stretching, or the uh, slingshot even, also scales with levels, so it's a little bit unfortunate. I don't know what Oscar and actually started. I didn't get a chance to see it, but I'm pretty sure it was a Z. Probably but it doesn't so. have the, the actual range on it to jump in. Oh, More it's, gold it's, overall. It's, it's, it's just mad. <laughs> it's just, but you got to feel for BB. Very masochistic series from him thus far. Gets dove yeah. like 30 times in the first two games and now is an 11 right, CST. Oscar, here we go. You know, while it's been rough for Broken Blade, you're still level one and it's six minutes into the game. Stretching strikes, not sure if it's going to hit. Don't know if it'll matter. Broken Mickey's Blade mids. also does more damage. Nice scoop back. Mickey goals him into the waiting arms of Yike. Caps grabbing that kill. Nice little one-two punch. You have that first Drake, but they did lose the first three grubs, so tower pressure six. on the top side. Oh my god. A bit more threatening. Judd now hooked up. Yike looking to follow. He has been marked by the Rek'Sai ultimate, and instantly he's going to fully commit here. Judd doesn't even have time to use the bailout. Buys himself an extra second, but Mickey, I set on Noah. Judd was already a dead man rocking. Razzwerk on the way down. He wants to turn it back. Noah. 
quite get enough damage here. Just gonna be that single kill on the bottom side in favor of G2. Insane hook from Mickey connecting with Jun, completely pulling him out. And Jun invests everything, the flash, the heal, the ultimate trying to escape, but G2 are able to chase him down with Yike being there with the ultimate himself. I mean, Mickey on the hook champions, both previously and currently, definitely having a stronger performance than his game one. He is looking, but he realizes Razork is a little too close for comfort, so they're not going to take that gamble. But this is the ideal setup right now for G2. Mickey. Waiting. A bit low. Razor definitely not the target that he was looking for here. Han Sama doesn't have the defensive tools to get him out. Now it's Han Sama who's going to be in trouble. Twisted Fate maybe just threatening, hoping to move his way in, but instead he's going into the mid lane. Han Sama now dropping down. Yike pulled back by a clean handshake. Does have the tunnel to take him to safety, and now it's Caps who's in trouble. Oscar, he spent half this game at level one, but level six. Finally here, and he puts it to good use in the mid lane. Back to bot lane, Razork is looking for Yike. Smite, extra movement speed, finishes it. Fnatic keep. He's not going to be too concerned, but because he doesn't have the TP. blade of the Rukin yet, he has to be careful. That's a TP behind. Hansama in isolation, no summoner spells, and here comes Humanoid. That should be one dead Kalista. Mickey on the chase, gonna try to pull Humanoid out, but Hansama surely doesn't have enough life. He continues to dance, he's getting away. There's no way that Kalista should live, but Hansama, with the support of Mickey X, will make it out, but now the follow up play. Completely going wide there on the initial hostile takeover. Mickey gonna be sacrificed here. Fnatic at least gonna walk away with one. Yike debating if he can save his support, but I think he just has to walk away. Fates call up in the nick of time. Fnatic just short of a few. A few HP bars, and they could have found themselves a few more kills. Humanoid even committing his TP to the play. You can see Oscar and coming up here, but there's really just a shell of a turret to defend. No one else on the way quite yet. Razor can pay his attention topside. Broken Blade delayed hitting the tower for an extra second to drop down and place that vision ward. Make sure they all drakes. Razork has started to walk his way up onto the top side to see if maybe he can make a cross map against Broken Blade. Maybe even look for the. Rylai's doing work there for Humanoids. The bot tower should be exchanged finally for Fnatic. They get, there's no way he's going to be able to collapse in time to be able to contest this. And I like this even more what Fnatic are doing. Turn their attention to the top tower first. To contest this Rift Herald after they've secured the tower. Yeah, I think for G2, it's about trying to play off of mid wave here and see if maybe you can try and push on the top side. And that allows G2 to get the resets to get Hansama back on the map. Now the TP coming in. Razork looking to disengage. Takes Mickey out. It's Yike now all on his lone. So pushback coming through for Razork. Yike in trouble. Goes unstoppable for a brief moment. But he's going to be a dead man walking. Humanoid on the chase. Ready to watch the skies descend upon G2 in the back line with a follow up. It's not there, Oscar finally coming in, but the Emperor's Divide pushes them back, and Oscar's pulled right back in. The Zac ignited, ticking the extra healing. It's an interesting situation where it looks like Broken Blade is overextending, but he's playing on the fact that Razork is going to do one of two things. He's either going to turn his attention to me, or he's going to try and contest the Dragon. You have a play. Dench on this bottom side. Scoop back. Yeah, they're not quite going to find the angle now. Humanoid can chase to follow up, but Mickey's here. 3v2 in the favor of G2. Where's the hook going to go? Mickey hoping to find the angle. Hostile takeover does connect, but Mickey's just running back to the back line. Berserk now. Knockup kiss on to Caps. Yike wants to do something else, but here comes Oscar Rin in the range on the Zac. Disgusting, a nice knockup from Yike to make sure they can get out to safety. Stretching Strike doesn't connect. The Sun Disc raised to make sure that G2 can retreat. Fnatic Oscar, is continuing though. to chase. Keep in mind, Noah coming from mid lane as well. Oscar, the range, it's just too much. Humanoid just continues to fly. Yike, Larry likely to give his life in this one. And in the extended play, it's Fnatic coming out on top. The chase will continue. Caps gets locked down. More autos on Hansama just trying to get the slow from the rand. And again, the Aurelian Soul. Every time he gets a kill, it resets flying towards G2. Caps now down as well. Greedy's going to push in in this top side, but you do have the Rift Herald still for Fnatic. I wasn't sure if they wanted to try and just crack open an inhibitor on the bottom side now as they try and trade, but. G2 and for the rest of G2. Again, the same exact play. They managed to set them up. They beat them in. They commit too many members, but now all eyes on Razork. The Poppy ultimate has to be clutch. Hansama knocked out of the pit. It's absolute chaos, and it's Noah who's here to clean it up. So much damage coming through. Caps on his lonesome. Pushback is good, but the hostile takeover ensures that there's nothing else that they can do. Hansama returning. Broken Blade on the way in. Shut down for Hans. Scrappy exchange. The Baron fully reset. They need to disengage. Yike, nice interrupt on the dive back from Oscar Rinne, but has he given his life? Good gold card. But the singularity, the slow, so obnoxious now to deal with Jun getting shredded. Handshake hits onto Yike. Yike needs to walk away, but Oscar again dives in. The reset's gonna start to come through for Humanoid. He has the power to continue to find these kills. Hansama stepping up. Mickey wants one more hook. Can he get a dragon out of the sky? He can't, but a gold card sure as hell can. And the extended fight, Caps refuses to die. Nice, nice. And as Broken Blade said, very good, very good. Hook connects. 
Maybe not the ideal target, but Oscar's still very squishy. Remember, he's had absolutely no money this entire game. Humanoid throws down the ultimate, but he's right next to Broken Blade, and he's starting to hurt. Yike coming in as well. The bailout gonna do absolutely nothing. Hostile takeover has Hotsama and Mickey hitting each other, but it doesn't do any damage. Caps pushing Noah back over the wall and taking him out of the fight. The Herald used mid. Does not matter. G2 again. 23 and a half minutes in. A mid tower will finally fall but I'd like to see the replay and the positioning of Noah because we've seen Fnatic force fights without him before. And when I saw the end of that fight, it felt like Noah only arrived at the end. And I have to question if they really needed to force it. And I don't even think they were trying to force anything. They're just thinking we need to get vision for the dragon. And we've got a Zac. He is tanky. No, he's not. He's level 11. He's only got a, an item and a half. This guy is nowhere near the level that you want this tank to be at, and G2 are able to hook him, kill him, and they'll find him again. Good interrupt. As you mentioned, Oscar just not tanky enough. G2, three damage threats. He's three levels lower than Han. He's 6K down to the Twisted Fate, and yes, money is fake for Twisted Fate. He got a million dollar loan from his dad, but it does not matter. They're just too damn strong. Now with the Baron, they're sieging on the bot lane. Numbers advantage, it's Mickey's hook that could be the determiner. Ultimate Good ulti from coming Varus. in from Noah. Now pulls Broken Blade back, trying to force the follow-up engage though. Razork, there's nothing else. Razork is in alone. Picked off. They continue to auto-attack the tower. One single minion, all that's left. It looks like they're going to go for the inhibitor, then they should back away. They don't have the wave, but in the meantime, it is Broken Blade in the mid lane trying to kick things off. Good singularity coming in from Humanoid. Excellent follow-up ulti to eliminate it. And now Yike in the midst of the entire Fnatic team, but Caps and Hansama crucially still standing. And Caps oh. wants to make oh the God. difference. Leap in, hand delivered to Hansama. The Callista taking over, and Jun, the last man standing in the blink of an eye. G2 are looking to take us to match point. Noah versus three carries on the side of G2. But G2 don't want to throw it away. They don't want to give it up. They'll back off, happy with the two inhibs. Noah has to keep chasing. We'll commit. But he's Shifting now out of safety. Away. Now all of G2 instantly turn back to the tower. Now they back up, wants to see the opportunity is passed. But it's the R flash again from Jun to kick things off. Four members connected, and it's Oscar running into the backside, ready to get things bouncing. It's the ulti from Humanoid as well, and Fnatic may have just found the fight. Mickey trying to interrupt the early assault. Caps is going for the end! Caps is living, going for the end! Is Caps ending the game! He doesn't want the fight! He wants the trophy! He wants match point! He doesn't give a damn about the 1v1! He takes Noah in the meantime, but he's not underwing the Nexus! But he will! One last hit! Take G2 to match point. Once again, it's split pushing caps that secures it for G2. <laughs> All right, Thresh. All right, I'm just gonna say I'm fire, boys. That's all I'm saying. Um, locked in here. Of course, the disadvantage is every time you uh, play or interrupt the Volibear Bear Q, he gets a reset. It should have cost them more. BB making the aggressive level one play, but they play it phenomenally. And now Noah's got nowhere to go. Flash forward, the knock up, the chompers, the flay back. Noah's now running. G2 gonna turn away. Jun just trying to get the hell out of dodge. One more auto from Hansama should finish it. Level three for Noah. Tries to get a bit of damage back. It takes longer than expected, Ooh. but first blood for Hansama coming through. And this was the other part that we didn't get to hit on. The fact that Razork didn't get any of his bottom camps because G2 would take them and he had to go top. And now. Caps still needs to be careful because Razork is on the top side of the map, but he will just back away from Humanoid. But that meant that Yike knew there was nobody who's going to answer him when he went for that play on bot side. And G2 say you wanted standard laning. This is what it comes to. Razork trying to keep his mid laner alive. Caps and Humanoid locked into 1v1. The jungler is a bit of the same. Unravel oh, the flash away from Humanoid. Clean thus far, but he needs to get Soldier of Razork coming in to try and finish the job. The minion! The scuttle crab! Blocking his escape, an ally to Fnatic, no doubt. Razor trying to get the stun. Broken Blade can now look to come in. The Elastic Slingshot, where's it gonna go? Does he want to commit on a Humanoid? The answer is yes, he autos the tower. He brings it back in Psycho. He flashes, and he lives. He's out of there. Wait, oh, not humanoid. humanoid, he doesn't have flash, no remember. Flash. He's walking the wrong way. The flickback's already hit, and that's a Rek'Sai coming over the wall. Mickey going in as well. Nice, nice slide glide. and glide. But can he get away to safety is the question. Volley Bear is on his way. Humanoid trying to create space Battle between him and Yai. Speed. But Razork is powerful. Is gonna find the stun. That's gonna be big damage on a Yike. Another flick back connecting. Do they have the follow-up damage to finish off Humanoid? The 2v2 stronger overall for the side of Fnatic. Not quite enough for Razork to body block everything. Caps able to finish the job with auto attacks. But now Fnatic descending upon Broken Blade. They find the stun. Oscar looking to follow up with a Q3. They need to interrupt this elastic slingshot shot if they want to try and find the kill. Broken Blade kept his passive in the previous play, but there's nowhere or no one around, excuse me, to support him. Fnatic dominate on the topside river. It's an overcommitment from G2 this time. This lane, which 
you don't typically see, considering the scaling element of the Jinx. But in the top side of the map, it's all Oscar. He's finding advantage. He's going to find through. another one. No passive for Broken Blade. He goes in, he goes out. And this is up towards the early skirmish, but making those spot is as Razork finds him. Play on a Razork. Hook not going to connect. Yike fishing for the follow up. Razork's going to walk away for now. Flash forward the lantern. Unraveled Earth going to get laid down. Flip back on Razork is clean. Knock up there as well from Yike. First kill to give it over to Hansama. He's getting excited. The resets are now coming through. He's looking for one more on to Noah. Jun trying to body block everything he can. The clients comes out a little bit late. Knock up there. Noah going to get knocked down. And oh boy, baby. Further on the bottom half of the map, PB being a nuisance trying to proxy, but has been caused. Likely to fall. They need to get the CC down, though, to stop the elastic slingshot. Takes his as much time as he oh, can. He it drops. He knows that Oscar can just interrupt in mid-flight. With the Cassante W. Broken Blade Wait, going he in. Can't does he TP? Does he TP? He can't. No, he's no just way. buying time. I think he's just trying to stall he's the wave. He's trying to get the wave. He knows as long as it's just Razork, he doesn't do enough damage. Now he's going under the tower, trying to backstep, gets one more blob, goes in, just uh, deletes most of that wave. If they blind predict that Oscar's gone, oh, that's going to be embarrassing. That's going to hurt. Flick back, connects onto Noah, immediate hook follow up. This time there's no cleanse, and now it's a 4 0 jinx. And there's no flash for Noah to get away from that either. Razork will pick up a consolation prize, the Void Grubs, but this bot lane is completely out of control. The, every time they tried to lane swap, they could have just been trying to kill the bot lane for Fnatic. But it's a 1.8k gold lead now for Hans Sama. This jinx is huge. And that means there's that much more pressure on Oscar. The strongest point on the map right now for He's paying Fnatic. fruition as Hans Sama finds himself with a 1.8k gold lead. And Broken Blade wandering in just to oh, harass no, no, Noah. Does oh, good no. damage in the 1v1 as well. The Varus is already so far behind. Broken Blade is too, but you're going to favor the Zac in this one. Takes a bit more time, perhaps a rushing strike. No, that's going to be a flash, a little unstable matter. And he responds. Going to be in trouble again. Jun, can he turn this play back? TP advantage, Broken Blade on the way in. Looking to rinse and repeat what happened earlier. Stretching strikes, Otto's the minion, pulls him back. Mickey and Hansama on the way in. They're going to take their time deciding who they want to donate this to. It will be Hansama, but Noah. Uh, I mean, they, they focused, shut down. Oh, humanoid. Finds the angle in mid lane. He and Raz work desperate to get damage on this top side. Terror, you're going to get a Chemtech Dragon. Not really the end of the world for G2. And Oscar in now underneath the Terror, but should be able to escape Last away. Last year. And uh, Noah's in someone who's come up clutch multiple times. Where they might have strength, but you're just too slow. G2 have already pounced onto the bot lane turret. And that's a full health Terror for G2 on the top side. It's dire straits right now for Fnatic. Oh, he's going to clear the wave. The Rockers. He wants, yeah, I think he'll, oh, they'll be oh, standing no. in front of us. <laughs> nice idea there to slow them down. G2 continuing to push in bot lane. Oscar, very tanky individual, but is he tanky enough? For the knock up. Yike, ulti is going to come out. Jundin has to do his best to interrupt. Good knock up on Yike, denies the play. Nice all out coming in from Oscar. Noah finds the kill. Gets a bit of money in the back pocket and a sign of hope for the side of Fnatic, but G2 will not take their foot off the gas. They've set their sights on that mid lane tower. Humanoid doing what he can to respond in the top lane. Fnatic need to keep responding to the aggression from G2. Good cross map on the top side to get Humanoid a bit more gold, crucially. 700 gold difference, but it's more important to look at the individual differences in lane. As Yike caught out here from Fnatic, they find an excellent pick. Bit more control, bit more gold back for them. And again, Han Sama is the gold for G2. If they kill this Jinx, Fnatic are favored in every single fight. And now they're already looking to get themselves a pretty sizable lead, leveraging the Herald, leveraging the pick they found onto Yike. Love this from Fnatic. Great pick. A second one onto Yike. They, uh, they secure the bottom tower. They're going to convert it into another. The Dragon spawns in a minute's time. G2, are they really going to try and force this fight? The Herald is just walking off. Broken way walking up. Mickey gonna get locked down, they're gonna delete him right as the fight starts. Broken Blade debating. Steps up, finds the auto, pullback doesn't really mean anything. The presence on boss to top. Trying to push away, nice flash backwards, unraveled Earth, looking for the setup. Humanoid just barely able to walk away on that one. Broken Blade now TPing in, but here comes Oscar in, and that's a damn strong Cassante. They're gonna have to respect it. Four members for G2. Should just break the tower, knowing they've got the Drake in the meantime. Ultimately, the trade of the tier two, but G2 want to keep fishing. Flash forward, knock him on the human on Hansama getting excited. One reset now coming through. Extra damage onto Oscar. Noah off to the side, just not really doing much damage yet. Fnatic. Advantage. Mickey stepping up. 
Good hook onto Jun. Play backwards, but Jun dashes out to safety. Immediate Mikhail. Mickey's kicking Cox. himself, but caps the one who's caught out. Broken Blade not doing a whole heck of a lot. Hansama trying to auto over the wall, but he hasn't found the reset quite yet. Ghosting now through the fight. If he finds one, they're likely to take more. Yikes still living. The reset's now going to start coming through. Flashback from Noah trying to stay standing, but Hansama looking at attack speed. Oscar Renan, the frontliner, the one protecting the rest of this fight for Fnatic. Really terrifying. Fourth item, Lord Dominix, feels like the death sentence for Fnatic. But the wall now coming in. Noah caught out, manages to make it to the other side, but now he's locked in the 1v1 versus Caps. Trying to find the good side steps. Will make it away, but just doesn't have enough HP. Shut down for G2. Clean pick in the middle lane. Broken Blade, though, overcommitting on this one. Walks back to the wall to try to get support from the rest of the team. Fnatic caught in the 4v5, hoping to pick off Broken Blade. Push back from Humanoid is not what they needed. Oh, seconds not. away. Razzle needs to find the type of play that Yike found earlier today. Guys, the ult, he can get into the pit. Oscar. Oscar takes absolutely no damage. Good poke now coming in. Broken Blade trying to disrupt the backline. All of G2 immediately turn off the objective. Oscar pulling Broken Blade back, but he's not hitting the backline targets he wants to be. Endless CC from the Zack and the Rek'Sai. Hansama now dominating the front line, freeing up spo so much space for him to do his work. Jun running, trying to peel for Oscar. Noah now coming in, but Oscar drops. Jun drops, and Noah is not strong enough to face the wrath of five members of G2, nobody's gonna drop, and they're gonna go right back to the bear. Now, it is really hard for Fnatic. They're at a huge deficit. G2 don't want to give up this Drake. Caps is already pushed in the mid lane wave. Wall coming from behind. Noah again isolated the front line. Can they protect him? Backstep from him is good. Seismic shove not going to do much, but Broken Blade again is just completely unkillable. And Hansama has already gotten a reset. Four members of Fnatic retreating, grouped up. Yike looking for a way to knock them up. Unstoppable from Cassante. The scoop now coming Humanoid. in. Humanoid wants to keep this game going. Jun and Oscar still standing strong, and that Cassante is powerful. G2 overestimate themselves in the face of Fnatic, in the face of Oscar. Oscar, they come up short. Humanoid saves the day for Fnatic. Humanoid ascends to Godhood with the shuffle to connect onto Hansama to rip the game out of G2's hands. Killing Oscar. And how many times have you seen Fnatic been able to rely on Humanoid? Another rely on this is here. Cops trying to force them back, but they're going in. He's looking to lock up Hansama. He's going to CC. No hesitation from Fnatic in the face of elimination. They will make the play work. Caps on the backside of the fight, set to fall now. Knocks down Oscar, but it's still overall it's close. It's a three v three. Yike, Broken Blade, can they find the angle? Can oh, they the keep this fight going? Nice Q3 going through. Oscar should be able to take over, but they have to try and limit it. Razor trying to find the healing, a little bit extra coming forward. The shielding now going in as well. Oscar stepping in, but he doesn't have the damage. He doesn't have the ability to stick on these targets. They're slowly but surely trying to win out on the fight. Unstoppable now, interrupts, pulls away. Mickey should just be able to shut through that health. It's all eyes on Oscar. Oscar and John versus the world. Oscar and John to hold on to hope for Fnatic as G2 desperately try to claw this fight back. Who's dying? No one is dying except for G2. Jun, maybe. Finally, they will take down the Rakan. Jun's got nowhere to go. The pullback. He's out. Not enough. Jun escaping. Are you kidding me? He will die in the end. The Jinx Rocket sidestep. This man refuses to drop. It's the tower who takes him in the end. My it's a tense moment between these teams. 20 kills to 23. The bloodshed is real. Here comes Broken Blade on the flank. I'll be going wide. Push back, denying Broken Blade access to the back line. All Fnatic now need to retreat. Oscar buying as much base as humanly possible, but Hansama does a lot of work here. Unstoppable now as he pulls Yike away. Oscar now trying to escape. The blobs on the ground for Broken Blade. It looks like it's just going to be a one for one. Frontline for frontline, but the TP is there for G2. They will keep their top laner standing. Noah over the wall can do absolutely nothing. And it's just Jinx taking over a quadra for Hansama. They're hunting Another for Penta. the Penta. A bit of cruel irony for for Noah. He was on the opposite side of this yesterday. Now he'll have to come face to face with the fact that it's Hansama who is slowly walking him down. Hansama who is securing the pet. For Hansama to push in this wave and secure a tower completely uncontested. The, That's the wave. More falling away here. Humanoid off to the side, just laying a bit of damage down on a yike. This is where Yike is so valuable. Every time he goes under the ground, he can spot out if Humanoid is looking for a flank, if Jun is coming in from a different angle, and all he's doing is getting this little bits of information for G2 to make sure that they don't get caught out. Weaver's wall, Jun off on one side, taking his time, does not want to burn any resources he doesn't have to. That's the wave stepping up. Instant engage. Humanoid. Now coming in. Hansam on the backside, still untouched, but Jun goes in. There's no fall. The pushback from Humanoid is good. It looks like they're trying to take down the back line, but Humanoid is already down, and Hansama is in full. 
That's gonna be it, the double for Hans. G2 don't have a wave, but I don't think it matters. Breaking down the towers and looking to end it here. G2 have gone and done it again. Humanoid tried his best, but his best was not enough. As long as Hans is alive, G2 will make a beeline towards the base to round out this series. But going in, a last desperate hold from the bottom lane of Fnatic. It should not be enough. There's no way they can do this. Noah goes in trying to kill Caps. He'll get at least one. But as long as Hansama is standing, G2 know that they have the win. He's taken down John as well. And for the fourth time in the organization's history, they're going to get four titles back to back to back to back. They will secure first seed at MSI, and they will lift the Spring Split Shield.